I'm tryna ball like a walk on. I love you when them hills get your walk on. You going off, but you walk on. And shorty, I cherish the ground you walk on. <laughs> you with your girls yelling, squad goals. I'm with the gang yelling, squad goals. And we gon' make a movie, call it squad goals. Me and you for forever, now that's squad goals. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany's Closet. It's your girl, Brittany. I hope everybody has been doing well and that everything's going good for you guys. I'm doing okay. Just finishing up my quarantine. I've actually been quarantining for the past 10 days. Um, so I've just been in the house, <laughs> housing, working on the apartment and whatnot. So yeah, that's been my, my time. <laughs> so I'm going to jump right into it. So I'm going to be turning a skirt that I already have into a skirt that I saw online a while ago, a really long time ago. Or at least trying to get it to look similar to the one that I saw. So I'm going to show you guys the skirt that I have. So this is the skirt. Get a little closer for you. Um, it's a regular like circle skirt. I got it from H&M years ago. I think I was still in college when I got this. Um, it was seven bucks. I guess I got it at the clearance rack when I got it. I actually used a piece of this skirt already to make a mask. So there's a big old hole in the front. But we're gonna see if there's enough fabric left for me to turn this into something else. So, fingers crossed that it will. So I started off by cutting the waistband off from the rest of the skirt. I wanted to see how much material I would have since there was that big chunk that I had already cut out. So that's just me cutting up the skirt, cutting off the waistband, trying to see how much material I have to work with. And then I'm just cutting off, you know, some of the kind of jagged edges so it's easier to sew when I'm sewing it together. to pinning the fabric onto my mannequin just because I wanted to see how um, it would lay since I needed the skirt to kind of angle in a certain way so I wanted to use the mannequin to be able to see that so I'm um, just pinning it to the mannequin making sure it's in place pinning it at the waist and uh, then I kind of just am adjusting it to see how I want it to so I started first by pinning the back on and then I went about pinning the front of the skirt on and I picked the, the side of fabric that was a little bit bigger because obviously you want a bigger piece for the behind because it's a little bit bigger so I picked the piece of fabric that was bigger to put on the back of the skirt. <clears throat> um, so then I'm just there trying to adjust and see which side I want the split on, how high up I want the split, and then I just end up pinning the sides together so that I'm able to just take it off and sew it. Now I'm just sewing each side together of the skirt. Um, I was having some technical difficulties. <laughs> my, my tension was too high, so my thread kept popping. Then the needle broke. I put a new needle. The new needle wasn't right for the machine. So I ended up um, halting the recording because of the technical difficulties. Now 
now I'm attaching the safety pin to the elastic because I'm going to put the elastic inside of my um, waist. I left an opening inside of the skirt so that I can be able to feed the elastic through. So I'm just feeding the elastic through. I'm using the safety pin to guide the elastic through and it just makes it easier for you to kind of pull it through the um, opening that's there. So I'm just going to keep pulling until I reach the end and then I just tie it off at the end and sew up that little opening that I left open. All right, you guys, so this is how the skirt came out. Ooh, la la. Does it resemble a little bit? Now, I know I'm not a professional designer of any sorts. So I would never claim to be. <laughs> this is all just for me to kind of like practice my skill and better my skill. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll come a little closer so you can see it. It's a really high cut. I have on a bodysuit right now with it. Um, so you can see kind of the bodysuit is poking out right here. On an average day, if I were to wear this, this would probably be something like on vacation where I would feel more comfortable kind of going outside with this much leg out. <laughs> but um, I think this is really cute. I think I did a decent job. Um, I would just take out the black stitching that I used, the, back, the black thread that I used, and use um, <clears throat> white instead because I didn't realize I wasn't going to like how the black stitching looked after. I didn't realize I wasn't going to like how the black stitching looked um, while I was stitching it. So I would just restitch this piece with white so you don't see the stitches poking through. This is how it looks in the back. It's short, so like I'm used to wearing shorts under my skirts <laughs> when I go out. So this would be one of those like, you know, if the wind blows, I'm gonna have to be real, real vigilant of behind so nothing is showing. But I really like this a lot. I think it came out really nice. You know, if I wanted, I could kind of shift it more to the front, shift it more to the side. Definitely would be a summer look that I would be 100% here for to wear. I wanted to make um, a matching top with it, but it wasn't enough fabric left, so I would just wear it with any top that I have. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, do you like it? Do you not like it? Did I do a decent job? Do you like it, baby cat? Is it cute? I'm going to take that as a yes. She thinks it's cute. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think about the skirt. I'm trying to ball like a walk on. I love you when them heels get your walk on. You going off, but you walk on. And shorty, I cherish the ground you walk on. <laughs> you with your girls yelling, squad goes. I'm with the gang yelling, squad goes. And we gon' make a movie, call it squad goes. Me and you for forever, now that's squad goes.